everybody, it's Liz Davis here. I am a nutritionist and gut health specialist and I help busy women fix their IBS, SIBO, Candida, you name it, any issue they have with their guts um, with uh, diet and lifestyle upgrades. So today I was going to talk to you about something I see all the time, um, a very common complaint which is um, I feel tired all the time and what can I do about it? So um, I was just going to give you six reasons you may feel tired all the time. Obviously getting a good night's sleep is always the first thing to look at um, and it's, it can be a bit elusive at times but if you find that you are having a good night's sleep um, between seven and nine hours a night and still are feeling groggy and not quite right the next day then you might want to look into one of these um, six reasons, which I'm just going to talk about. Um, okay, so the first one I would look at, which is quite common um, if you're feeling tired, is that you may have a thyroid imbalance going on. So if you do have a thyroid um, issue happening, then you may get symptoms such as really bad tiredness, exhaustion, um, you may have mood swings, you may have muscle pain, joint pain, vision problems, or you might have another common thing with it is very cold hands and feet, or you may have, you know, a really big appetite, maybe eating too much or not enough. Um, if you've suspected thyroid before and you've been tested at the GP, but you're still not feeling great, it could be that because and you know, it's come, the tests have all come back normal. It could be because that particular test has a very broad range of what's normal. Um, the private test is a lot more accurate and it can tell you exactly what's going on and um, give you a better indication of whether or not thyroid is a problem for you. So essentially you can be tested, it's come back normal, but that doesn't necessarily rule out any kind of thyroid imbalance. You could still be feeling a bit iffy, um, but perhaps not absolutely terrible. Okay, so that's the first thing I would look at if you are um, feeling very tired a lot of the time. Um, the second one, which is very closely linked to thyroid, is adrenal fatigue. This normally comes on after um, periods of extreme stress, so unrel unrelenting stress. And um, the first big flag for this one is if you're very, very tired in the morning. Um, so it's like your adrenal glands have just given up the ghost, they're exhausted. So your adrenal glands are what's secreting your stress hormones, so your adrenaline, your cortisol. Um, so they could be firing too much for too long and eventually they've just given up the ghost and said, sorry, not going to do this anymore, need a rest. So that's why the first thing that happens is, you know, sometimes you just can't get out of bed because you need those hormones to get you up and going in the morning. Um, so that's that's very closely linked to thyroid. Those two tend to go hand in hand, and um, very simple test to find out if you've got that. Just a saliva test taken throughout the day can tell you if you've got a thyroid issue going on there. Okay, so then this links closely again to the next one, number three, which is chronic fatigue syndrome. Again, I see ever such a lot of um, this as well. It's very common, particularly with women, and um, it's got similar symptoms to adrenal fatigue. So again, you're going to get this uh, tiredness that won't go away. You're gonna have um, difficulty falling asleep, staying asleep, so very wired at night and during the evening. And you're gonna have muscle joint pain again. Headaches, you know, this is all generally very systemic, very feeling yucky just about every way, you probably get weight gain, digestive problems, um, this mental fogginess. So, um, and this difficulty concentrating, and it can go on and on, it can go on for a long time, so we need to support this with diet and lifestyle, um, definitely, and there's also tests we can do, I would normally do gut tests, adrenal tests for this, so I can point you in the right direction for any of those. Um, so they're all quite closely linked. So the next one is leaky gut syndrome. I've spoken quite extensively about this before, but leaky gut syndrome will um, 
it's well, why would that affect your tiredness well essentially it's affecting your absorption so if you've got inflammation going on in the gut you've got um your body can't utilize the nutrients you're eating particularly well particularly your b vitamins um, and your other minerals as well which are needed to for your body to actually generate the energy that you need so um with leaky gut you generally have other issues going on as well um such as allergies or um etc so um yeah i would definitely be looking at testing for that possibly if you are feeling tired all the time um then the next thing i would look at is blood sugar imbalance so what tends to happen with blood sugar imbalance is you will eat lots of carbohydrate foods or sugar foods they give you a nice burst of energy for a couple of hours it's like oh yes we're feeling really good and then what happens after a couple of hours or so you just plunge and you feel dreadful you might be anxious you'll be very tired jittery um have all things like that going on which isn't great so after a while if you've spent your entire life on this soaring and plunging of blood sugar your pancreas is frantically pumping out insulin all the time trying to keep this blood sugar level and eventually after a lifetime of it normally you could potentially end up with diabetes which is not what we want so if you can nail this now if you think this is an issue for you so much the better so the thing with this is to try and get the emphasis off of very high carb foods be eating more proteins fats um, green leafy vegetables salads vegetables things like that just to try and keep that blood sugar on an even keel a bit more will really help with your energy levels a common one you find is that people will have a very high carb lunch so it'll be pastas sandwiches things like that for lunch anything which is very easy to grab while you're at work and then you hit that two three o'clock plunge and then you're craving cake and coffee and all that so that would be a real sign that you have got um blood sugar issues going on there which is what we want to avoid really um so yeah that's about it those are the kind of big ones i would look at if you're lacking energy and as i say there are tests that you can use test supplements lifestyle changes um so do get in touch if you want me to test you for any of those things but otherwise you can focus on dietary changes so you're going to focus on foods which are high in b vitamins so green leafy vegetables oily fish chicken eggs things like that nuts seeds um, those are also high in uh, minerals as well that you need and also you want healthy fats um, avocados fatty fish again olive oil coconut oil things like that all those food, those high fat high protein foods very rich in nutrients and um, all the minerals that you need and they are going to really help you so away from that very high starch food avoiding all the refined flours refined carbohydrates those aren't going to help your energy levels any any at all and sticking to the very nutrient dense fats and proteins should help you okay so that's all from me for now if you do want to chat to me at all i shall put a link in the comments for my diary so you can book yourself in for a free 30 minute chat and otherwise i shall see you next time okay bye bye